It's no secret that the Contra series has had some serious ups and downs over the years, but thankfully there's been kind of a contrenaissance recently, with Contra 4 for the DS and Hardcore Uprising on Xbox Live Arcade making a triumphant and successful effort of bringing back the 16-bit glory days. And this installment available on WiiWare is also no exception, and it's hard to find a better bang for your 10 bucks. Let's party! Let's party! Contra Rebirth is undeniably a throwback to the badass Contra classics on the Super Nintendo and Genesis, so at least it's got some pretty hardcore inspiration to start with. Controls feel a bit closer to Contra 3, as you can switch between two weapons and lock your firing stance. If you're more of a Contra hardcore person, you might be a little bummed out at the lack of a power slide. Oh, and I also definitely recommend a classic controller for this game, although the Wiimote and GameCube controllers are also compatible. Your weaponry in Rebirth is a bit more limited than in the past. Power-ups include the trusty spread shot, the laser, and homing missiles. There aren't any screen-wiping nukes, and there's no upgrades, and no flamethrower. For shame. The lack of a real arsenal like I'm used to is a little disappointing, but the action is still intense enough you might not notice it too much. The game is a bit short, with five stages in total, but they've packed in a crap ton of crazy, carnage-tastic chaos. Three different difficulty levels also provide very different gameplay experiences that should make this approachable to newcomers and a satisfying excursion for veterans. Nostalgic types will also get a kick out of tons of references to past games, as you'll definitely recognize certain moments heavily inspired by some of Bill Reiser's past exploits. Fortunately, it's not all rehashed, though, as there's a fair share of mind-blowing and thoroughly entertaining sequences unique to the game. Man, how often do you get to race along a highway on purple robot camels? Other interesting touches include a bit of plot interspersed throughout, although a lot of it seems to be intentionally ridiculous. There's also different characters to play as. If you're tired of the old riser, you can also play as Yagyu, last seen in Neo Contra, or also the unlockable characters Brownie and Pliskin. They don't play any differently, but it's a nice little addition anyways. The presentation is also very well done, with a bit more of a colorful, cartoony styles than Alien Wars, and plenty of remixed Contra themes that fit the action perfectly. Overall, the game is short, but very sweet. And I don't mean sweet like, aww, how sweet. I mean, yeah, that's freaking sweet. It's definitely one of the manliest downloads on WiiWare, and it's highly recommended for any fan of blowing stuff up. <laughs> 